Each year, we take some time to look back at what God's been able to do through us as a church and provide new vision for what we can do together in the future. Over the past year, our broadcast ministry has continued to focus on reaching people around the world with the gospel and helping those in desperate need. Through our weekly broadcasts, we have the ability to reach over 200 nations and territories and a potential audience of 2.3 billion people. As part of our vision for this ministry, we want to be able to share the gospel with more people in more languages and on more platforms. This would include purchasing and upgrading cameras, equipment, and technology that will prepare us for the future of reaching the world with the gospel. Through our broadcast, we've been able to help people in need around the world for decades. One of those places is Haiti, where we built a food distribution center and have sent 272,000 meals every month since 2009. And this September, our volunteers were honored to be able to pack the meals that will go directly to those in Haiti. This year, as the country faced political unrest and violent gang takeovers, and supplies became even more scarce. There's a real meltdown taking place with gangs that have taken over. The majority of Haiti is under the control of gangs. We've had several of our employees kidnapped, and we got them all out. The gangs get on their Facebook and talk about they want to take Love a Child, they want to take the market, and take farmers in all the way to the border. We're like the last line of defense, I we're think. The last line. Why don't you why don't you just give up? Why don't you just get out of there? You know, we have our hands on the plow and we cannot get in response, your support additionally purchased two all terrain trucks to get food to those in critical need. And Pastor Jensen, I want to thank you for the two brand new trucks. We're open, we're open, and we're going strong. Haiti, love you. Here at home, this vision series has been directly responsible for the impact that our mobile medical unit has made. It's now been active for over two years, providing free ultrasounds and STD testing, as well as love and support to women considering abortion. Through this outreach, we've been able to provide hundreds of care visits, and we were able to document at least 90 instances in which abortion-vulnerable clients chose to parent after seeing and hearing an ultrasound. Your continued support provides the clinicians, drivers, counselors, and medical supplies to make this amazing outreach possible. We've supported women recovering from addiction at New Beginnings for over a decade. They combine rehabilitation and counseling built on a foundation of faith. Um, I started using cocaine when I was 16, and by 17, I was on meth. Um, my parents tried to get me help at 17, took me to rehab, kicking and screaming, um, and I was in total denial, but I went right back out to the same situation. Uh, when I was 18, though, I was down to about 85 pounds. I reached out to my dad, and he helped me find new beginnings. Uh, April 24th of last year, I gave my life to the Lord, and He really turned it around. <laughs> He's since restored my mind, and I have a relationship with all my family that I thought I could never have. Our vision is to invest $500,000 in new beginnings for new facilities and upgrades to their ministry, because we value each and every woman struggling and their calling in Christ. As part of our vision series last year, we had the goal to launch services in three new prison facilities. We're honored to report that all three of those are now fully operational bringing our current total to seven prison facilities. Amazing volunteers are conducting services each week where we stream our messages in and provide worship, prayer, and support. Based on the success of these campuses, our vision this year is to do even more. We are in talks to launch in the Lee Arendale Women's Facility and the women's side of Atlanta Metro Reentry in the coming months. Your support will provide the technology and supplies to bring the message of Jesus to hundreds more women each and every week. For years, we partnered with those in danger in the nation of Israel to build bomb shelters, a fortified school, a fire station, emergency equipment, and more. But it wasn't only buildings that we built together. We built communities, and together we chose life. They may have crushed our houses, they may have hurt us physically, but they did not break our spirit. Look around us. This place that we built together is worth fighting for. As the conflicts in the Middle East have continued to escalate over the past year, our church is taking action. That is why we have committed the single largest amount of funding in our history 
to partner with the Jewish National Fund to rebuild and renew the Eshkol region. Together, we can make a real difference. We can bring restoration to so many hurting families. We cannot let what happened on October the 7th ever happen to the Jewish people again. That is why we're building civil defense centers and over 800 safe houses, making sure every family in the region has a safe house room in case of terrorist attacks. On the 7th of October, these shelters were an incredible safe haven, and I thank God that both my daughters were fortunate enough to have one. Unfortunately, it didn't end on the 7th of October. We still experienced terror. We had just the other few months ago the problem with Iran, and they sent hundreds of rockets and drones, and we were here in Reim when that took place, and this safe room became our little safe haven. We bought our little mattress here. We slept together and that was so we wouldn't have to keep running. We didn't know what was gonna happen and this room just felt like it was keeping us alive and it, and it is, it keeps people alive. It's something that every single person in our area needs. I can't stress it enough that it saved our lives, it saved my husband's family life on the 7th of October and it will continue to save lives. And for that, Pastor Jensen Franklin and your fantastic congregation, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We thank you. The Jewish National Fund recently awarded our ministry its highest humanitarian honor, the Tree of Life Shalom Peace Award, for unwavering support from Free Chapel and Jensen Franklin Media Ministries. Thank you for blessing the nation of Israel. We want to continue to be a church that isn't satisfied with what we have done, but is actively reaching to do our very best, to be the hands and feet of Christ in our generation, to make the most of the time we have together, to inspire people to live for Him.